All right, so I'm gonna try and make this one continuous video of, you know, fuckery. Um, but yes, here it is. Uh, I've shown it on my Instagram and obviously my Snapchat already. But uh, YouTube has not seen this and it's about time I post a video of this thing. Now I'm gonna try and make this uh, one complete uh, video for everyone. I just wanna make this sort of like a short little update. Um, I haven't gone anywhere, I haven't done anything stupid, I haven't died. Uh, a few people in the comments section have literally asked if I have died. No, I've just been busy. Um, if I'm not fucking working on this thing, then to be frankly honest, uh, you know, those idiots up there, yeah, I've been taking more care of them too. Um, you know, I, I fucking love me puppies. Uh, just like I love fucking banging gears and going fast, so, you know, this, uh, <laughs> don't mind that, that's, a <laughs> that's nothing, but, uh, <laughs> that's what happens when you buy an 80s car, aka wiring, wiring everywhere, that's why half the dash is taken apart, don't worry, I still have all the panels, it's all gonna go back the way it was factory, but whoever had this car before me, uh, took the entire slot out for these lights that are in here. So that's fucking cool. And then on top of it all, like, it, dude, it, there's so much wiring that I have to do to this car. That being said, um, let me just fucking, I'll prove to you that it actually starts. And I know the fucking steering wheel thing. Honestly, I have an aftermarket steering wheel. It's an NRG. I know, fucking cheapy. But uh, I have an NRG that's actually going to go on this. It's a quick release as well. And plus it's uh, well, fucking, it's smaller. Not smaller, smaller, but, you know, it's able to not crush your fucking legs when you get in and out of the car. Uh, and I'm putting fucking different seats in this thing because uh, this seat is just right fucked. Um, <laughs> it's just not good. But anyways... So yes, yeah, so the car actually runs, it does drive, I would drive it for you, but to be frankly honest, that fucking clutch is so goddamn heavy, I literally do driving this thing as a fucking chore. Um, man, how am I gonna do this? Eh. Come on, you motherfucker! There's a special way to get the key out of the ignition. Uh, Fox body guys will know it, otherwise, y'all are posers. But, uh, it's a 2200 pound center force dual disc clutch that's in this car with a Borg Warner T5 that's actually braced up. So it can handle some horsepower, but it's not, you know, built. Uh, it's a moderate car. You know, you can have fun with it. You can definitely pull the Honda Civic from down the street and make them look like a poser. Oh, as I punch myself in the leg. Yeah. Okay, that's how you take those off. Um, you're like, oh, you gotta release it from inside. No, you fucking sissy. You don't release it from the inside. Real men use hood pins. Uh, so it's a 5.0, obviously, from the sound of it. Uh, it's got a 70 millimeter intake, EGR delete, uh, smog pump delete. Um, and if you look down there, uh, you, you don't need to look anymore. But uh, I've had to replace the cap and rotor. Uh, I've replaced pretty much every single vacuum line. The strut tower on this side does not look too fucking happy, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but as I was saying, GT40 heads, GT40 intake. Um, they are ported and polished. Uh, 170 roller rockers, you know, the basic shit, the, 
you know, typical guys back in the 80s or uh, early 90s to late 90s would do in order to go faster in one of these fucking shit show fucking goddamn wagons. Um, that's the battery out of my truck over there. But, uh, yeah. This thing, uh, it's a fun car to drive, but at the same time, I'm really, uh, well, right now, the reason why I'm not driving it is mainly because, first off, the turn signals don't fucking work, and the reason why they don't work is, well, they worked when I first, uh, got the car, and then I took the dash apart because I had to rewire shit, and, ouch, uh, since I had to rewire shit, it, it just wasn't fun. Um, when I rewired everything and I put all the connectors back into the housings and whatnot, turn signals don't work now. All of a sudden, the turn signals don't work. So I'm sort of pissed off about that. But at least the headlights and taillights fucking work now. I guess that's sort of, you know, <laughs> big thing. Um, but yes, this is a 88 Mustang LX. This is not a GT or anything like that. It is just an LX. Um, 8.8 .8 rear, obviously, as uh, the wheels can tell you. It's a four lug car. I pray that I can switch this shit out soon. I really want five lug on this car so I can have, you know, different wheel options. Um, that's, that's really it. The car is not built built, but it's, you know, it's a fun car to drive. Uh, I've definitely had, you know, my fun with it. That being said, I've racked up over $600 in fucking tickets because of them stickers right there. And, uh, some fucking pansy asses will not fucking help me out with it. But, that being said, uh, I think I know someone that can help me out with this car and, uh, get it to where it needs to be in order to pass. So... Oh, and as for the exhaust, the mid-pipes are the only thing. Uh, it used to be an H-pipe, but the middle piece literally just disintegrated in my hand when I tried to, you know, touch it or weld it. Uh, when, I mean when I mean disintegrated, it literally just fell into fucking pieces on the ground. So the mid-pipe definitely needs to be fucked with. Um, everything back has been deleted only because of rust. Uh, so it's just the mid pipes now. I'm gonna actually saws all it all off and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna end up well straight piping it. There is no catalytic converter in this fucking car because you don't fucking need that um, I'm gonna end up putting bullet mufflers somewhere in this area and I'm gonna have fucking tubes come out to a uh, circle track uh, cowbell or I guess like a NASCAR exhaust uh, is what most people would think about it and uh, it's going to dump out right fucking here. And it's going to be fucking sassy. Most people would be like, why the fuck would you do that? Because it's my fucking car. That's what I want to do. But, um, yeah, this is, this is what I've been up to lately. This is the new project for off road retards. So, here you go. Oh, don't worry. I've been building a pit bike off the scenes. It's been a bitch, but, uh. I finally got the correct fucking swing arm bearings for it, and don't worry, it'll be together soon, and we'll start making a video series on it, but until then, you know, keep her panties twisted, I guess.